Hey everyone, welcome to the show. This week we sit down with a young Vancouver guitarist who leaves everything on stage. You won't be disappointed if you get out to see this guy. He's playing on September 11th on a bill with Johnny DeCourcy. This is episode 77 of In It to Spin It with Eric Campbell. The Cobalt played host to the Dead Soft release show last Thursday. There's Nick and Rosie waiting to get in. It was a stacked lineup, great night. Everyone in fantastic spirits, really fun in there. Up first was MOSFET. Despite breaking a string on his first guitar and then again on his backup guitar, these guys were impressive. I'll keep an eye out for them. War Baby just keeps getting better and better. These guys are just so killing it right now, destroying it. And then the band of the night, Dead Soft took the stage. The reception and energy for the Dead Soft set was out of this world. The Cobalt was sold out, packed. Such a good vibe in there. People just going crazy for this stuff. It was really fun. And the Courtney's rounded out the amazing evening playing their first show since their nine week tour with Tegan and Sarah. You can catch them on the Commodore stage opening for Art Bergman September 6th and sound of great. We met up with Eric at the Railway Club. During the interview, we talk about Scotty P and the Virgins. It turns out Scott is not only a great bass player for skinny kids, but a talented lead guitarist in his own right. Enjoy the dirt on Eric Campbell. Hey everybody out there, we are once again in the Railway Club in Vancouver for a gig with a very busy guitarist here. Uh, he's got a magnetic presence on stage. Guitarist for No Sinner, Colby Morgan and the Catastrophes, and your own project. The, the dirt. Yeah, so here we go. This is Eric Campbell. Say hi to everybody out there, guys. Hi. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Good Good to be here with you, man. Thanks yeah, for making awesome. time. Yeah. yeah. Um, quickly, like I mentioned, you're busy. Just yeah. quickly take us through your life of the last four days since yeah, Friday sure. at the rickshaw, man. Because we've been playing works. a yeah. hell of a lot of shows. So run us through what you've been doing. Okay, so we did the, um, the rickshaw Friday night. Yeah. That was really fun. Yeah. Um, First time being on that big stage, singing yeah. my own songs. Nice. Uh, that was cool. Um, Saturday, Falcon Eddie's with the Catastrophes. Yeah. Um, always funny playing there. Yeah, uh, I don't know that place. Yeah, it's just like it's just like a bar, and it's always busy, but it's like kind of a weird crowd that goes there. It's yeah. fun. I like those yeah. gigs. But um, after you finish that, rush over to. Yeah, Rust to the Astoria. For um, a headlining gig? Yeah, we were headlining, which was crazy. Did you get to see Johnny DeCourcy do the All Black Wizard set? I, I think he did one cover. Yeah, yeah. okay, I thought but, it was an All Black Wizard show. Yeah, he was saying that. Thankfully, yeah. he did 
good song. Yeah, because it's so good. And he also did, um, yeah, a cool cabaret song. Like he had a backing track and oh, he yeah. just sang, which was great. Oh yeah, nice. I saw um, him with the fur collar that night. So yeah. That cool. No, but we got up and did a duet together too. Oh yeah. So Sweet. it was good. And then. And then woke up and went with no sinner to. To Ponderosa. Yeah, yeah, where um, missed the gay 90s, but they had played there the night before. Nice. I heard they killed it. And came right back to headline here tonight at the yeah, railway. Yeah, woke so, up this morning and wow. me and my lady hopped in the Volvo and nice. just trekked it hard. So I think that's five shows in four nights. Busy guy. Yeah. Three different that's outlets. True. So let's get into it here. I think I first saw you at yeah, the Fairview it? Pub, Keithmas. A few no way! Years back. Holy shit! No sinner. Yeah, that's hilarious. It was okay. a great night. You did three different Stones covers, as that's, every band does. That's the night I met my lady. Oh yeah! Actually. Really? She's playing bass with me tonight. Nice. I've been teaching her bass. Okay. But yeah, that's where I first met her. Yeah, it I've. Took, uh, it took me a year to hunt her down. But yeah. Oh yeah. blown away by Colleen's voice there, totally, yeah. but I really took notice uh, of you about a month or two ago uh, here, this very venue with Colby Morgan, you guys had yeah. an amazing chemistry on stage, I yeah, uh, had to get in touch, you got a great <laughs> style of playing, uh, really practicing. <laughs> September, Kill Your yeah, Love. Yeah, almost a year ago, which is crazy. Really? A year ago? Oh yeah, I guess. Shit, September, September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really show, the Electric Owl, and it was crazy. Right. We had a, yeah. It was my friend's birthday, so we had a birthday cake on stage. Okay. Yeah, I heard, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. heard that review. It's it's also birthday today. Oh, nice. I love the scale. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, so talk about The Dirt and how they came together and who's in the band. Well. He's in the band. Nice. Colby just wandered in. What's up, Colby? Hello. <laughs> How's it going? How are you? <laughs> hey, Campbell. Hey. Uh, the Dirt started um, just this project with two really close friends. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to do something to focus on just kind of my love of loose, grimy, dark rock and roll, and like the Stooges and Nick Cave and. Okay. Birthday party and um, stuff like that. Okay. Um, Outlaw rock and roll. Yeah. And dub. Oh yeah, I like yeah. that one. Um, yeah, I've seen that around a bit. And then it just, uh, yeah, it's gone through a lot of phases and forms, and um, it's just it keeps on growing and rearranging itself and mutating. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think it's always going to be just this kind of gloomy but fun kind of. Dark Rock and Roll. Okay, well yeah. that's what fans are in for. Um, we can link in the description of Bandcamp to the dirt. Yeah. And cool. uh, let's talk about the video, uh, Ropes and Chains. Sure. Was shot in an abandoned, quarantined, biohazard zone where you later found out a man hung himself. Exactly. You guys yeah. popped police lines and got the job done. Yeah. Uh, we can link that here. That video is yeah. great. Uh, talk a little bit about Ropes and Chains. What's going on with the song? Lyrically, <laughs> maybe. That song, um, again, um, like the band, it kind of mutated. Yeah. Um, it started as just like a sly guitar song. It was just kind of like a chain gang, like stomp, clap yeah. thing. Okay. Um, and then I just liked the subject matter a lot of ropes and chains in the south. <laughs> and um, I was reading a lot of like Cormac McCarthy and William okay. Faulkner and everything. And I, I kind of wanted to like touch on that side of life without being too opinionated yeah. about it, because how could I have an opinion? I just, I, I have a romantic view of it, I guess. Yeah. So I 
wrote, yeah, so I kind of changed the song, wrote a poem, and then that turned into the full song. Okay. And then, it's pretty weird though, the, the whole uh, imagery of the song with the bride and the noose and all that. And yeah. And then you found out later that there's actually... I know, there's so many weird coincidences. Super strange. Yeah, theory. yeah, no, my, fr my friend Olivia took me to that house yeah. just to show like she knew I was into weird shit, shit like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. But um, yeah, it was fantastic. We were there for eight hours. The cops came by the end. There's helicopters. I heard the guy had been hanging there so long. So that, long uh, that his body and his head detached yeah. when the cops eventually wow. came. Yeah. That, okay. So well, yeah. we can link that here. Check that out. It's a great song. Great video. What's next for The Dirt? Um, maybe new music or touring since it's been a year since your debut album? Yeah, I would love to do a tour. I've never toured my own yeah. um, material. Um, I definitely want to record another album because we've got tons of new songs. Um, and apparently uh, you, maybe this Friday or Saturday when this is airing, will be your last show with No Sinner. It will be, so yeah. We can, uh, uh, focus more on solo stuff, right? Yeah, I'm just, I'm like, I'm 21 years old. I've just got too many little crazy ideas that I want to well, focus on. Wow, so you've on. been no sinner since you were 18, 19. Yeah, yeah, oh, and I, I, don't, I wouldn't know anything if I hadn't been in that yeah. band. You know, they kind of gave me an education that you couldn't ask for a better one. Yeah, yeah. But, um, Learn the ropes with them, yeah. Yeah, I just got to uh, see what happens yeah. on my own. Yeah. Okay, okay, and um, how about three bands in Vancouver uh, you're digging at the moment or all of us should be listening to right now? Can I say Colby Morgan? Yeah, I, catastrophes even yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, right? don't say no <laughs> sinner, Colby Morgan <laughs> yeah. right in the dirt. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, when I saw you guys, it was... I'm really liking fast. Skinny Kids and Scotty P and the Virgins. Yeah. So we're playing tonight. I think Episode Scotty's really cool. Episode 75 of this show, Skinny Kids. Yeah, I saw that. I watched that's that, actually. Awesome yeah, guys, they're really so fun. Good. They're really fun music. Yeah. Um, yeah, Johnny was great the other night. Yeah. Everybody knows Johnny. Um, His new album's coming out, hopefully, October, November. Nice and nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, well, gay 90s, they're killing it. Yeah, they've been around for a while. I don't know much about them. Yeah, but as long as No Sinner. Um, yeah. And Parker helped write a lot of the early No Sinner songs. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, I didn't know that connection. Yeah, okay. yeah. So they're doing great stuff. Um, okay. Who else? I don't know. So who many we, good who ones. Who have we played with? Like, That's good. The three so many fans. Yeah, there's so many good ones. Yeah, that works. I'm interested to see uh, Scotty P in the version. They're really fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have a great show tonight, Thank and you. Uh, really eager to look uh, forward to more dirt stuff. Yeah, we're gonna just keep on playing shows. We're having, I'm having a crazy time of people offering me shows, which is so like exciting. Oh, yeah. Like I get so excited <laughs> each show yeah. these days. Awesome, um, awesome. Just gonna keep doing that, and if we make enough money, we'll be back in the studio because nice. I got a lot of new songs that I was writing when I was away on tour. But, yeah. Okay, we'll keep everyone up to date on that yeah. the, in the show in the future. So okay, thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Get Colby in there. Yeah, get Colby. Drumming tonight. Isn't he handsome? <laughs> Sometimes when I'm sad, I just say to myself, <laughs> You scary man fish. At least Colby Morgan is so good looking. <laughs>
right here. Yeah. Woo! Uh, we need a drum.